The Philippines is never short of tragedies and disasters that ruin lives and destroy property. During these times when misery and death seem to stalk the land and threaten to extinguish all hope and confidence in government, in the economic systems, even in humanity itself, the Red Cross always remains a source of aid, encouragement, and comfort. Mercedes de Leon was among those left panicked and frantic by the Glorieta Mall Blast on October 19th. De Leon did not know where else to turn for help, since her daughter Maureen went missing in the blast site. Authorities were busy securing the area and investigating what caused the explosion, and no one seemed to care about relatives seemingly left on their own searching for missing loved ones. Mercedes felt all alone, struggling with fear and despair. Mag ma malaki talaga na itulong ng Red Cross. Siguro kung wala din sila dun, siguro baka bumigay din ako sa oras dun sa nararamdaman ko. Hindi lang yung pag-bipi, hindi lang. Kasi yung, yung lang moral support nila, yung mga salita na in i itinain na nila sa akin, eh, nakabawas-bawas din naman yun ang, ano, kahit pa paano, um, sama na loob. After authorities closed down the blast site for investigation, Mercedes nearly lost hope. But she found light in the midst of darkness when the Philippine National Red Cross, led by PNRC Chairman and Senator Richard J. Gordon, came on the scene and conducted his own search. They found Maureen's lifeless body in the ruins of one of the mall's escalators. In the hour of the victim's greatest need, the Philippine National Red Cross helped render first aid, rush victims to hospital, search for the missing, and most of all, be a friend, a brother, a sister, offering a listening ear and a shoulder to lean on to those gripped by immeasurable grief and loss. For many who depended on the show Wow Wow We for a chance at a better life, death was the price to pay when a fatal stampede occurred. In an instant, hope turned to grief, excitement to dread, and joy to despair. It was a tragedy no one expected. It is no surprise that the Philippine National Red Cross was the first to respond to the disaster. The PNRC quickly recovered bodies and arranged them in a humane and dignified fashion. This was an immense help in restoring calm and order amidst the fury of the relatives of those who perished. The Philippine Red Cross worked round the clock for more than 24 hours and stayed with grieving relatives crying out for justice.
with some 20 typhoons passing through the Philippines each year, bringing related disasters like massive floods and deadly landslides. The swift and very capable response of the Philippine National Red Cross prevent loss of life and disabling injuries. PNRC workers and volunteers are always there to evacuate those in the path of danger, giving life-saving first aid treatment, and making sure victims are secure and safe, and relatively comfortable in the middle of calamity. In the name of service and humanity, the Red Cross provides medicine, food, medical treatments to all victims regardless of race, economic status, or gender. The PNRC provides a reliable and unfailing source of support throughout the Philippines, wherever victims are hit by natural disasters. Scores were killed in the landslide in St. Bernard in Ginsaugon, Southern Leyte, and affected a thousand families. For the victims and those who witnessed the disaster, the incident was nothing short of horrifying. PNRC Chairman Richard Gordon was in the IFRC in Geneva when disaster struck. But even from such a remote point, he ably directed the Philippine Red Cross in helping the victims of the calamity caused by Typhoon Remy. Again, the PNRC did not waver in its efforts to assist the victims of the landslide. This is no surprise, since from its inception, the Philippine Red Cross has sworn to fulfill its mission, and its members and volunteers take to heart their commitment to serve humanity wherever help is needed. This commitment has been passed on throughout generations. Everything started with a tiny yet noble seed of concern for humanity. In the middle of the chaos of war, Henry Dunant, with little regard for his own welfare, looked beyond the lines of war to give aid to the injured and dying in the battlefields of Solferino. That seed grew into a huge tree, a tree whose shade would cover more than 180 countries. A tree that would be called the Red Cross and the Red Crescent Movement. And in 1947, that huge tree grew a branch in the Philippines through the Philippine National Red Cross. For 60 years, the Red Cross has never abandoned its mission to help those suffering from disaster, war, and other conflicts so that they could face the aftermath with renewed hope and rebuild their lives from the ruins of war and calamities. Lahat ng affiliated and everybody working with Red Cross, uh, you are heroes in your own right. Um, Lagi nakakalimutan like I said and the unsung heroes but then